We're using a gouge. This is a very small repping gouge. Notice how nice the shavings are come off. That shows us that we got a really sharp tool here. Now we measure the hole. We're going to make the shaft fit through that hole. We've got the veneer set. Now we're just going to check to see where it fits. We're going to continue to thin it on down. We'll be checking in between times. This is a smaller gouge. This was a skew. This was a skew. That's a novel skew. Now we're going to put on the beeswax. And we're going to sand it this way. This helps lubricate the sandpaper so that uh, we get a lot of sanding with little dust. Makes it so smooth. See this is a little tiny round skew. And we're going to cut the tip off here. Get the corner nice and square by using the point. Now we're going to go back and actually do some cutting with it. As opposed to some tools that are scrapers and you'd scrape. This is a cutting action. It actually pulls shavings off. Okay, it's cut loose. It's only held on by one end now, so we're going to sand that up nice and smooth. We've got the sandpaper and a little beeswax. Now we're going to start buffing on the beeswax. Notice the shine. We've got a nice shine on this now. We're going to cut it loose with a real tiny gouge. Easy does it. Easy does it. I've cut out some of the parts. You didn't see me saying that again. I cut that out. Faded right on into the final cuts. And then I'll sand it off on a buffing wheel that I've got to the side. 